government doesn't have money is a common cry among government officials, especially when they are taken to task over slow delivery or failure to deliver on projects such as roads or the supply of drugs in health facilities. But on Wednesday, the World Bank suspended any new lending to Uganda, citing poor accountability and low absorption of the funds already dispersed. There are currently 17 World Bank funded projects in Uganda worth $2.1 billion, approximately 8 trillion shillings, but only 10%, the equivalent of 800 billion shillings, has been utilized. As a result, Uganda is paying back over 250 billion shillings in interest alone to the multilateral lender. This is besides the principal that is paid over a specified period. Are you ashamed as, as government? Well, it's not a comfortable situation to be in that uh, you can borrow money and you don't uh, utilize it. All of them will be accountable to the decisions that they have taken. There are claims that some unscrupulous government officials put the borrowed monies on fixed deposit accounts, which then accumulate billions in interest, which they pocket. State Minister for Ethics Reverend Father Simon Lokodo says borrowing without a clear plan is suspicious. Could it be that someone is sitting on this man in order to eat little by little by himself? Because really, the government or the country is paying a lot on it. Now, the finance ministry has also set December 2016 as the deadline for all ministries and departments to submit their sector plans for the 2016-2017 financial year. If anybody has not put in their sector plans, their budgets will not be approved. Inspector General of Government Justice Irene Mliagonja highlighted some of the special investigations the Ombudsman is handling at the moment. Some of the institutions under probe are the Uganda National Roads Authority, the Ministry of Health, and the Ministry of Local Government. For instance, in the Ministry of Local Government, we found an account where someone got up to one billion shillings in their account as payment for per diem. Per diem. And that particular person had been out of the station for about one, more than a thousand days. Despite a report by the Commission of Inquiry which investigated alleged corruption in the Roads Authority, indicating that Uganda lost 4 trillion shillings in fraud in about seven years, the IGG says she is conducting a fresh inquiry. Some of the issues are in the report, some of them are not. Several people named in the report have gone to court, wanting it quashed. Recently, President Yorim Seven said that the fight against corruption has become a song. But critics say that unless there is serious commitment by the executive to fight the vice, this very song will continue to translate into laziness and complacence within government. Still, we are hunger, NTV.